I hear a lot from parents that they're worried about interfering with the agency of their children mm -hmm. sometimes when they're trying to get their kids to comply and obey and you know become decent human beings. <laughs> and I try to help them understand that agency is very different from freedom and that no one can take away your agency and we can't take anybody else's agency away. It's a God-given gift. The battle for agency was won in the pre-earth life. So we have to distinguish that and it really helps us to understand that as parents but also as individuals to know that when he says liberty, he doesn't mean that we're always going to be free. I mean, think the Israelites were in captivity. You know, many people have been, Joseph was in captivity, Joseph of Egypt. A lot of times people are in difficult circumstances. That's not the liberty God's talking about. He's talking about the liberty to have eternal life, mm -hmm. the liberty to become what we were created to become, to fulfill our potential, to magnify the purpose of our creation. That's what that liberty is. So freedom is a negotiable commodity. I mean, we negotiate that all the time. I have to give up freedoms in order to be um, a member of the church. To and be a citizen. I'm, to be a citizen of the country, mm -hmm. to have a temple recommend. We give up lots of freedoms for things that we value more than those particular freedoms or indulgences. So that's important to teach our children and to not feel so disempowered as parents that we feel like, well, I can't really tell them to do anything or not to do something without interfering with their agency. And a lot of parents surprisingly get caught in that trap. And then it sadly, empowers the children in just the wrong way <laughs> to think that, well, you can't take away my agency. And it's like, that's not what's on, on the table here. We, we can negotiate the freedoms.